Welcome to another episode from Offshore Maritime and Energy Channel. This episode will showcases how an oil tanker goes through a loading operation at an offshore FPSO facility. A successful offshore cargo transfer is a complex operation that requires multiple systems to work together seamlessly. This video showcases Kongsberg Systems' seamless solutions. Offshore loading operations play a crucial role in the global energy supply chain. They are the lifeblood of moving crude oil, LNG, and other vital resources from offshore production facilities to the global market. Offshore loading typically involves transferring hydrocarbons from offshore facilities to tankers or shuttle vessels, ensuring that production can continue without the need for an immediate connection to onshore infrastructure. This system is particularly important in remote or deep water regions where laying pipelines to shore would be too costly or impractical. Regions such as the North Sea, West Africa, and the Gulf of Mexico rely heavily on these operations to stay competitive in the energy market. But how does this process really work? There are several components that make offshore loading possible. The most common systems include the FPSO, loading buoys, single point moorings, SPMs, and dynamic positioning systems on vessels. The FPSO acts as a floating storage facility, receiving oil from nearby production wells. It processes and stores the oil until it's ready to be offloaded. Meanwhile, loading buoys and SPMs serve as connection points between the offshore facility and the shuttle tankers. These buoys have flexible hoses that can connect to the tanker, allowing oil or gas to flow smoothly. Dynamic positioning systems installed on tankers play a key role. They help keep the vessels in position, using GPS and thrusters to make sure the tanker stays stable, even in harsh weather conditions. Offshore loading operations aren't without challenges. Harsh weather, strong currents, and the sheer complexity of managing moving vessels make safety a top priority. To mitigate risks, strict protocols are followed. For instance, shuttle tankers and FPSOs are equipped with emergency shutdown systems, which automatically halt the transfer if pressure becomes too high or if an unexpected disconnection occurs. Routine inspections of the loading arms, hoses, and mooring equipment also ensure that any wear and tear is detected early, reducing the chance of spills or equipment failure. Environmental safety is another concern. Spills, although rare, can be devastating to marine ecosystems. That's why there are stringent regulations and advanced spill response systems in place, from using double-hull tankers to deploying rapid response teams. Every step of the process is designed to protect the environment. As offshore energy production evolves, so too will offshore loading operations. With the growing demand for greener energy, we are seeing innovations like electrification of facilities and integration with offshore wind farms. The future holds potential for even more efficient and eco-friendly loading systems that could further minimize environmental impact while meeting the world's energy needs. Offshore loading operations are a vital link in the global energy chain, enabling us to access resources that power our modern world. As the industry advances, we can expect these operations to continue evolving, ensuring both energy security and environmental stewardship. Cargo is loaded at a constant flow to ensure tanks are filled in accordance to design. While the transfer is happening, the ballast systems, power generation and DP systems are constantly balancing the resources to ensure smooth transfer. Once the loading process is complete, the transfer valves are shut off ensuring no further flow into the tanker. The flexible hoses or loading arms used to transfer the hydrocarbons are depressurized and drained to avoid spillage during disconnection. Both the FPSO and tanker crew perform final inspections to ensure all systems are properly shut down and secured. The hoses or loading arms are then disconnected from the tanker. Depending on the system, single point mooring or FPSO, Either the tanker or the buoy may move away first to create enough space for a safe disengagement. Dynamic positioning systems ensure the tanker remains stable during this process, particularly in rough seas. Communication between the FPSO, the tanker, 
and shore-based control centers ensures that all systems are secure, and clearance is given for the tanker to sail away. The tanker gradually increases speed and departs from the loading zone, heading towards its delivery destination. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the offshore and energy industries.